All right, I'm here at Furman Park in San Pedro. Oh, I was gonna say secret location, but I kind of stumbled upon a Patriots meeting and they've got bullhorns, flags, Patriot masks on, kind of militant looking helmets here and there, but yeah, they're getting their voices for freedom and all of the above subjects that we've been listening to for the past few years, mostly. And that's in the park. But right here, I kind of crossed the fence where a lot of people like to go down to the rocks. Down yonder, people like to go down there, play on the rocks. A lot of kelp. So all they're doing is getting their tootsies wet. I mean, you could go pretty much anywhere, Southern California to the coast and find things like that. But anyways, I wanted to uh, get some view of from San Pedro. Long Beach and San Pedro is is uh, like the spot for cargo, cargo ships. And I found the perfect spot to get a point view. I'm not sure if I could zoom in. Nope. What a beautiful view. As far as the eye can see, wow, literally, you could see cargo ships. And getting over here off of the uh, 710, 710 South, it's right off the 415 or 405, 410, one of those. It's a north and south freeway, main one that you access to and from I-5. See, look at that. As far as the eye could see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's as far as the eye could see. And then you pan south and you could see a few more. And then way up there. Man, look at all those. And this ain't nothing, just wait for it because I'm panning. Look at all those cargo ships. They keep saying for the past few weeks, it's been holding steady at about roughly 70 cargo container ships. There's a Long Beach area where you see all those cranes. And there's a steady line going across the Pacific this way of more cargo ships. And it kind of reminds me of 10 days to flatten the curve. Well, they said that if you go 14 days without any cargo ships arriving, they could get it under wraps. But these ships are steadily coming at a steady pace. And it's not going to end anytime soon. And I came all the way up here from San Diego. It's an 80 mile drive. Yesterday's news is that San Diego is relieving the Long Beach and San Pedro ports of uh, whatever they could relieve them of. And including in that, Home Depot ha hires their own cargo ships. Home Depot is offloading in San Diego. So you can look it up on the news, San Diego cargo ships, keywords, and find some articles about that. How is San Diego helping? So this is what I came all the way up here for, is to see this view for my own records. Yeah, 
I think that's the way to go. It won't be nice. Okay, let's, there's got to be some more down here. You guys looking for the cargo ships, the best view? Uh, look at I see. No, no, we're just, we're just exploring. All right, right on. You got to tap. No, oh. the only thing I could think of was this Furman Park. Where's that? That's that park over there. Oh, yeah, we were there. Yeah. It's a nice family atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's just chilling. We're all, we are family. Yeah, I like this phone. It's, it's my cheap phone. And I got a better phone, but this cheap phone does good video. But it seems like it's blurring and focusing. But it will look good on my PC desktop and I could get some photo screenshots I'll actually take photos and then zoom in on them but between a whole bunch of photos I'm sure I'll get one to three good ones Yep, this is a pretty good view. And I am going to implement this on my podcast. Hopefully the wind ain't blaring in the microphone. With Vinny Contreras. All kinds of good stuff that you, I'm sure you uh, heard on my phone conversation. By the time I get everything queued up on my podcast, I'll have a list of all the songs. I'll name them in order of play for future reference and free downloads. The ultimate sneak peek, Vinny Contreras legend. And once you do all your reading up on him and whatever I've got to say, you're gonna be like, wow, a hidden gem. Vinnie Contreras in contemporary gospel sold out for Jesus music. Sold out to Jesus and his music. All the ships, 70 give or take, as, as many as possible are anchored and some are so far out that they cannot anchor. And of course, all of, instead of 230,000 gallons of oil that was uh, spilled from a pipeline that was in the water that was most likely factually drugged by an anchor because there's a big gash a foot or a couple feet hole in it a gash what's going to gash something down there by an anchor it's more like uh, 3,200 gallons or something like that, but no, not not no 260,000 or 160,000 gallons. That would be like the most grandest extreme case scenario. But it turns out that it was uh, just a couple thousand gallons of oil released, and some tar balls are being found as far south as San, as San Diego, and as I said earlier, 80 miles from North San Diego County. To San Pedro here where I'm at San Pedro Long Beach so now I've got it I've got my own video coverage for my own self I don't really like to have to rely on media or mainstream media photos or videos for my own reference for my children 
and they're my children's children reference when they say hey what's uh grandpa been podcasting about back in the day and I don't know if this yeah I think the screen does pick it up there's a smog line and that's another thing with all the ships out there using their uh their fuel for power they're saying that it's causing uh an unusual increase in smog air Affecting the air quality, but you could see a smog line, and it's almost reminiscent of the uh, 70s, 1970s. So the smog line is way out there, and it used to be so much closer. Wow, those are really far out. So pray for Christmas, uh, one of my most recent podcasts, I gave my, my advice for shopping. I actually finally went into Walmart and looked at some prices yesterday, and they've got some really, really good deals on uh, clothing. So I had to pick up a, a couple of pair of $10, $12 pants for work couple of zip or zip up hoodies for work because I work in a refrigerated environment and actually a long sleeve t-shirt what I'm wearing right now so that'll get me through the winter and I recommend Marshall's and Ross I haven't been into Ross yet Ross dress best for less but as far as the more upscale, like Macy's, uh -uh. you're going to be looking at price tags that, that don't say suggested retail, but they are right up there equivalent to suggested retail pricing. And even with 30 to 40% off, like they have sections, it's still, like I saw, a $60 hoodie real thin material hoodie 60 bucks and for 30 percent off which is like way more than 35 dollars still way too much just for a thin hoodie item of clothing that's made who knows where somewhere outside of the united states so yeah i recommend places like that even thrift stores go to thrift stores because like goodwill salvation army They've got things that are brand new, still have the stickers on them. They're in the original boxes, never been used. You never know what you're going to find at a thrift store. When you're helping a cause. So stick with Walmart, Marshalls. Ross dress best for less. And the thrift stores. Because of this supply, what they're calling supply shortage. So it ain't really gonna be that bad. They're still got coffee and everything at the grocery stores. But go shopping early and you won't regret it. It's still going to be a good Christmas. Hanukkah, Christmas and Hanukkah season. Get your candles, put them on some plates in the house, Just put them on a safe platform where you could light a candle and it's not gonna burn anything. You know the you know the routine, the drill. All right, thank you for uh, checking this out, and on to Vinny Contreras.